Hey, good day everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Carp. So today I'm going to be doing part two of this and I've already started it. I put that little roundhouse in there, those steps coming back there. In part one I sort of did that part of it, in the theory house. Okay, so firstly we're going to cut it in the stairs and I'm using actually a cutter wheel here. And uh, I'm not sure if I've shown this one before, but it's the EZ544. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, the EZ really just means it goes onto this easy lock mechanism, which fits into your Dremel. And you sort of like pull it back like that. And then you sort of like put it into there and it just fits on one way. Then you turn it 90 degrees and you'll see it click in again. Well, fall back onto that mechanism and then you let it go and it locks into this place. And there's a few uh, bits that are like that. Okay, so it is actually a really interesting bit to use to carve with. Now, I'm not going to recommend it and I'm not going to diss it or anything like that. I'm just sort of like showing you how I was using it in this carving. And, you know, it, it is really got those straight lines. It's good for cutting wood as well, which is quite nice. And this is a hard wood too. This You've got to remember this is jara which is extremely hard wood um, using the square tip cutter burr there to just put in the stairs now i'm leaving links to all of these burrs in the description so if you wanted to check those out you can so you can see there i'm cutting into the wood you gotta remember that jara is really hard and i'm not sure if you've heard of the janker scale but it's sort of like measures hardness of the wood by um, how do they do it? They push a ball bearing into the wood and measure the newtons that is required to push that ball into the wood. I'm not probably describing that very well, but that's what they do. So, um, you know, I'll try and give you some sort of like idea on how hard Jara is. Jara is 8.5 on the Janker scale and Purple Heart is 8.3. You're Cedars are probably going to rate sort of in the low sort of like 1.5 to 4 range Okay, so a lot of people ask me about this bear and it is called the little terrier And I'm going to put a link up in that right hand corner to a video that I made about this bear It is an extreme bear and it's probably not for beginners And well just follow that link and you'll see it. It's very expensive as well Okay, so check this out. I have got more bears. Okay, so yes, all of those ones are a little bit too large, except for that one there on the table, the extreme taper bear. Okay, so if you want to increase your injury rate, always cut towards your thumb.
Okay, so we're just smoothing out the rough patches with the cutter burr. I find this really, really good for this kind of work. It's sort of taking out where the cut soles and all left the sort of like scratches in it, I guess you'd say. And I go really, really lightly with this and just be very careful that you're not shaping too much with it and cutting into the wood where you don't want to cut into. Of course it is good for shaping though as well and that's my dog mini uh it's winter time here in new zealand so all I look, most of you are in summer it's winter over here and i've been walking my dog mini uh most days and just taking it easy okay so a few shout outs uh Rob from Just Carve Rob, uh, he's uh, carving a shoe at the moment, I believe, and a vampire kit maker, that guy, Ben from Studio on the Lake, and check out this guy, his name is Dorio, I believe, he's from Norway, maybe, uh, some Scandinavian country, I, I kind of think, uh, does knife carving and all that kind of stuff, really cool work, kind of uh, Viking orientated, maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah, go check him out. He's really cool and does cool videos as well. There's also, who else is there? Uh, Geordie from Carving Fusion and Ryan Cook. Ryan Cooks uh, seem to be amping things up again, which is pretty cool. He's got a new TV program coming out, which I'm pretty keen to watch, but it will probably be here in about 10 years down under. Um, hopefully not, maybe. Anyway, hey, take it easy, everybody. That's part two. There's going to be many parts to this carving. Thank you for watching.